Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today we discuss about the chapter 7 gravitation. Right. Before going too deep into these topics, let us recall the history of gravitation. One day, one famous scientist sat under the tree and thinking about something. Meanwhile, when he's thinking something, an apple fall on his head. Then he started thinking that how this apple fall on his head. Why can't he can fall on the apple? Or why can't the earth is falling on the apple? And with that revolutionary idea, he introduced the gravitation theories to us and he is none other than Isaac Newton. We don't know that whether the story is right, whether the story is correct, whether the story is a, only an imagination, but the story is very famous and the story asks you to think creatively ask you to question everything what is happening in the world. So gravitation is the very important aspect in our life. Any body which is throwing it upwards, it has to come to the ground. It has to fall onto the surface of the earth. Why? Because earth is a massive body and this earth has attraction force towards its center attraction force towards its center and this attraction force Isaac Newton given a name called gravitational force so because it's gravitational force all the bodies are falling on the earth but if you ask some other questions like we discussed about the straight line motions curved motions so many other types of motions but now take another type of motion. Take the motion of moon revolving round the sun. So, sorry, round the earth. Moon revolving round the earth. Moon is also a massive body, but it is relatively very small comparing to the mass of the earth. Then why this moon is continue to rotate around the earth? What are the factors behind that making the moon to move around the earth? Take another example. Like take sun as a center and around the sun the planets are revolving and one planet is our, our earth. Now the same question comes. Why the earth is rotating around the sun? Take another example. Go to the atoms. Inside the atom you know that what are they? Inside the atom we have electrons. And we have nucleus and these electrons these electrons revolving round the nucleus like how the moon revolving round the earth how the earth moving round the sun so what are the factors behind it making all these bodies to rotate around the another massive body and there is an answer for that and that answer was given by isaac newton only okay so what he gave the answer to the particular question let us draw a diagram say this is the earth the earth and a person standing on the earth surface thrown a ball which is on his hand so thrown a ball when he thrown a ball with the velocity v so with that velocity maybe the ball goes to some distance and fall on the earth. Now next thing what he done, he throw the ball with a little more velocity. In that situation, maybe the ball goes some more distance and fall on the earth. And next third time, he thrown the velocity with very higher, ve higher velocity. Then the ball again goes to some more distance and fall on the earth. So in that way, that person increased the speed of the ball such a manner that at one particular speed, when he thrown, one particular very high speed he thrown, then the ball started rotating 
round the earth continuously. See what happened now. So when the ball is thrown with the one particular maximum velocity, then the ball is never falling on the earth. Instead of that, it is continued, continuing rotating around the earth. What is continue to rotate around the earth? Because earth at each and every point, at each and every point, earth is attracting that body. Earth is attracting that body. So that that attractive force making the body to be in this circular path. And this is the reason why the moon is rotating around the earth. So Isaac Newton told that maybe one person, maybe one person who thrown the moon in the space, such a manner that that moon has to rotate around the earth in a circular path. Now who thrown the moon in the space? Isaac Newton told that those persons are nothing but angels, servant of gods. So those angels thrown the moon with a particular speed, a particular velocity v with which the moon is keep on rotating around the earth. So we understand that each and every body has some attraction force towards the earth or else any body which is having mass is attracted by the earth. Isaac Newton told that if this is the earth and this is the some body like apple having mass m, earth is having mass capital M which is capital M is very much greater than mass of the apple. So this object has to fall on the earth such a manner that the attraction force pulling the body towards the center of the earth and this attraction force as you know is called force of gravity or a gravitational force and because it's a gravitational force because it's a gravitational force earlier I told you that uh, if this is the earth around the earth the moon is rotating because of gravitational force so when are this moon rotating around the earth because of gravitational force if you observe the path of the moon so what type of path it is yes this path is called uniform circular motion it's called uniform circular motion so not only the moon round the earth describe uniform circular motion earth round the sun is also describing uniform circular motion and that uniform circular motion is only because of force of gravity now my question is that if you take nucleus around the nucleus also electrons are rotating around the nucleus in the uniform circular motion path then which force is responsible for the electron to move in the circular path do you say that the same force force of gravity no it is not force of gravity then what and to understand what is that force we have to discuss about the concepts of uniform circular motion